Hey there! Did you know there are three different ways to wirelessly connect to your Osmo Pocket, and that each has its own advantages and disadvantages, but that one is definitely the best when it comes to range and the ability to go through things like walls and floors and other obstructions? Do you also know if you need internet service to use the Wi-Fi modes? Stay tuned and I'll show you how to connect to all three, do a test for range, and then tell you where each mode is best. Being able to control the Osmo Pocket without needing to be connected to it can be very useful. DJI's wireless module is the handy little accessory that makes all this possible. It's small, lightweight, and attaches directly to the bottom of the Osmo Pocket. It does draw power from the Pocket, but there is a USB-C port on the back where you can plug in a power source. Once you've got the wireless module connected to your Osmo Pocket, there are three different wireless setups from which to choose, and each setup has its particular pros and cons. Here's a graphical overview and discussion of the wireless modes. You can connect to the Osmo Pocket either with Bluetooth or with Wi-Fi. Bluetooth goes directly from the Osmo Pocket to your phone or tablet. It's line of sight, approximately a 50-foot range, up to 50 megabits per second transmit speed. The power on the transmitter is low and correspondingly the power draw on your battery is low. Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi Direct is a peer-to-peer -peer connection like Bluetooth, goes directly from the Osmo Pocket to the phone, requires no internet, has approximately a 300-foot range, and it can also go through some obstacles like walls and floors. Speed is up to 2 gigabits per second, which is a lot faster than Bluetooth. The higher power transmitter also draws more power from the battery, so you normally need an external power source. There are two frequencies, 5.8 gigahertz, which I believe is the default, and 2.4 gigahertz. Now that we've got some good background, let's go out into the field and test the range. This is a photo of my setup. You'll notice the external power pack for my Osmo Pocket. I didn't want to run out of battery power in the middle of the test. We'll go through how to set things up in the MIMO app, then see how far we can get a reliable signal to not only view what's being recorded, but also to control the gimbal and exposure on the Osmo Pocket.
I think the winner of this unscientific test is pretty clear. So why not just leave your wireless module in 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi mode all the time? Well, here are some pros and cons of each mode. Pros and cons of Bluetooth. Pros. Very low power consumption, less battery drain on the Osmo Pocket and on your phone. It's familiar to most people. Everybody knows what Bluetooth is and almost all of us have Bluetooth products. Cons. It's easily interfered with. It has very limited range, as we saw it in our test. It's by far the lowest range of any of the options. And the signal can be interrupted by other objects, such as walls, floors, furniture, or even people. Pros and cons of 5.8 GHz Wi-Fi. Pros, it occupies a band that is relatively wide open. While dual band routers have been around for a long time, rarely do people use the 5.8 GHz band. The range is longer than Bluetooth, as we saw in our range test. It's got a higher power transmitter, which also contributes to the range being longer. Cons, it's higher power consumption because of the higher power transmitter, so you're going to need an external power supply. The signal can be occasionally interrupted by physical objects, not as much as Bluetooth, but it isn't quite as reliable as 2.4 GHz. Walls, floors, other items. Pros and cons of 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. Positives. Longest range by far of all options. It's got a higher power transmitter. It can penetrate some walls, floors, and other objects. In my house, I can carry my, my cell phone around most of the house and still be connected to the Osmo Pocket. Cons. Higher power consumption. That's going to, again, lead to quicker battery depletion. Frequency is very crowded. 2.4 GHz is where a lot of electronics live. Many home and commercial Wi-Fi networks, security systems, microwave ovens, some garage door openers, cell phones, wireless home automation products, they're all in this band. So you may have other items interfering with your Osmo Pocket. Recommendations. Check to see which Wi-Fi band your Osmo Pocket is on, and if it's on the 5.8 GHz, switch it to 2.4 GHz for better performance. You might need to return to 5.8 if you're having issues with 2.4 due to possible interference, but remember the limitations of 5.8. Always use an external battery when in Wi-Fi mode, or find a way to plug in your Osmo Pocket. And use Bluetooth for simple line-of-sight applications. One other question I read all the time, and something I also wondered is, does the wireless module work with the DJI 3.5 mm mic adapter? Unfortunately, the answer is, it does not, at least not at this time. I'm not sure if this is something that can be fixed with a firmware update, but I doubt it. Maybe in version 2 of either product. So that's about it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button below. If you didn't like it, Go ahead and hit the thumbs down button, but leave a comment on what you didn't like so I can work on getting better. Plus, I've got more than a dozen new videos in the works on the Osmo Pocket and a number of other photo and video related topics. So if you'd like to be kept up to date on all of these, please hit the subscribe button over there or under the video and even click on the bell to get instant notifications. Thanks for watching. I'm Dennis and this has been Picks to Flicks.